I'm getting so drunk today. So we're gonna start out with some of the best Bushkete. Bushkete. Buffalo, mozzarella and truffle. First place is called Divine Ostelia. All the places we find are purely from TripAdvisor. We're in for a treat, you're in for a treat today. I love mozzarella. The concept is that we are trying all the nice Italian food and we are gonna do it so it would match a fine dining experience. So it's gonna be small dishes, a lot of them, and then we'll go up for main courses and dessert. Now we are going to a place called e Clementini. We haven't planned all the places we are going yet, so we're just winging it, but generally we have a good feel for finding the right places. when you get bread served in a brown bag. I feel like a gangster. I'm having a, another glass of wine. Very beautiful bottle and a very beautiful taste. Oh, it opened up beautifully, thank you. I am having an espresso. Of course, we have to have a caprese salad. This is probably one of the best things Italy has given to the world. This that is healthy, salad. that, that is, is healthy. healthy. <laughs> so simple, so, so good. good. Cheers. It's gonna be the best day of my life. <laughs> Yummy! What is it exactly, Amanda? Italian panini with Italian bacon, Italian cheese, a lot Italian of Italian stuff. And Italian mushroom cream. This is probably the landmark of Italian beer craft. Nastro Azzurro. One of my favorite beers. It's Chinotto. It's an Italian soft drink made out of an Italian fruit. It's bitter. It's a sweet. Mm. It is a bit like Coke. The bread is crispy, crunchy, like, mm. and then you got like the salty ham and the cheese. It's just, this is mind blowing. So far, we've hit three home runs. Only by using TripAdvisor. Yeah, we should be paid by TripAdvisor. I was just about to say, we are not, <laughs> we are not being paid. So the reason why TripAdvisor works is because it's people addressing their experience. And um, although a lot of people have bad taste, the majority is always uh, right. We don't look very uh, charming eating this, so we're just gonna jump to the next place. Italian ice cream. We have selected some ice creams that none of us have tried before. Apple and cinnamon. This one is hazelnut. Hazelnut. This is the hazelnut. Oh, it's literally like eating a hazelnut. This is probably the difference between real Italian ice cream and Danish. This is smooth and it's creamy and it's like ice cold but still it has like a temperature where it's easy to eat. So tasty. It starts very subtle, subtle. but then it grows in your mouth. That's what he said. But it's nice to switch it up and you know, we don't have to make the dessert the last one. This is much more charming than the other three places because we are sitting outside. So much good food here in this Italian world. Now we are at our fifth place, Le Caveat. This is another splendid classic Italian restaurant. This time we are gonna have something fried. So this is basically a mozzarella that has been fried. Yeah. And I guess it's fucking good. I ordered a 
glass of rosé, but this is not rosé. It's more like sherry. It's not rosé. <laughs> rosé is red. So they brought us uh, three different uh, bottles of uh, rosé. Enjoy. Grazie. Thank you. Now we're talking. That is rosé. I don't think I can think of anything better in life than uh, fried mozzarella. Mm. We are halfway uh, through our 10 course Italian Rome visit. Next place, go! which has a rooftop, which has a private balcony. So far it's private. If another couple comes, they'll probably No, Amelia. It is only ours. When you do the food crawl in uh, in Rome, especially when it's so warm as it's been today, got us uh, reach for the heights. And there's so many actually good uh, rooftop bars. And now we are at, at a Hotel Diana. We came across it randomly. It actually wasn't a trip advisor, but, but uh, we were pleasantly surprised. Between five, and 6.30, most restaurants are actually closed for food, but you can still enjoy something, a drink or whatever. Let's call this a course. We still need pizza, we tell a tonato, spaghetti, spaghetti, tiramisu, Capaccio. and capaccio. There's a lot of things, we can't make all of it. We're gonna do our best, but no promises. Nothing like life on a good day. Is it good? It's really good. You probably like it because there's alcohol in it. How cute is that? Pizza time! Pizza Mediterranea! It's a really ugly place. But that's the thing we were told by our Airbnb host. Really nice Airbnb host, by the way. She says if it looks like shit, you're certain that the food is a high quality. Let's dig in. This is the best air condition you'll get here. <laughs> We're sharing a little slice. The real Italian way of eating pizza is actually this way. And real Italian pizza slices are square and not round. And here you buy by the kilo. Mushroom portini and cheese. Not too bad. It's not much better than the usual, but it's much nice. This car is made for me. One day, Amelia, we need to do a road trip around Italy in uh, one of these. Let's get some spaghetti. The table is a bit rocky, but the food is solid. No Italian food without spaghetti, bolognese. And we are having a Valpotiella di Paso. This is probably some of my favorite things to eat ever. Where would it be ranked wise? I think it's a, it's a nine. It's a nine? Yeah. One of the things that I love about pasta in Rome and Italy in general is that it's freshly made. They don't take it out of the, the plastic uh, cases, they make it themselves. This was course number seven. We still need good. room for uh, some uh, carpaccio and villa tun 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 Cheers. Cheers.
Finally, Amelia, we are getting our capaccio. But this time it's a panini capaccio. Normally, capaccio in my brain is plate covered with masaola. Exactly. Yeah, but here it's different, and we are now at Fudom. Oh, Say it, I Amelia. Can, no, I can't. For enorme. Yeah. And this place has five out of five. Five on TripAdvisor. And it's based on 440 reviews, which is yeah. insane. But I mean, let's dive in. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Ah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Amazing kabacho. It's so salty and tender and it's beautiful. I'm having this beer. It's um, from Sardinia. Ignoso. It's an unfiltrated, it's a very organic, fresh beer. And um, it's just good. And I'm uh, on a big glass of white wine. That's something they're very good at here in Italy. I think this is one of the highlights out of the eight restaurants we have mm. been to so far. Mwah. Mwah. That was such such a wonderful place. Like you have to go to Fuera in Orma. But also it's getting uh, dark. We've been on the run, on the road, the food road, for nine hours now. We have been on the food crawl. Food crawl, sorry. We have sorry. been crawling. Our invention. For nine hours. Patented. And also we have had a lot of wine, <laughs> as you can tell. Drunk as promised. So the wonderful guy at Fuera in Orma told us to go to another place if we want Vitello Tonado. Which we haven't been able to find anywhere. But he says there's a great possibility that they have it. Yeah, and it's called La Vecchia Rome. And it's right next to. And that means the old Rome. We're in the old Rome. Yes. Rome is pretty old. Okay. So let's go, let's go. Swipe to it. This place, unfortunately, don't have Italo Tornado. So I think now we have a mission for the next 10 minutes to find one place that has Italo Tornado. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get a Vitello Tornado today. And we were just told that it's because it's a very, very, very old school dish. They don't do it too much here in Italy anymore. But we don't care because we got Colosseo. Absolutely amazing. So we end where we started today at Divino Vistilia. Come on. Okay. You can't do it. You read it once and then. Ostilia. No, okay, say it. Divin Ostilia. Ostilia. One more time, say it. Divin Ostilia. <laughs> Cheers on that, okay? Yeah. This concludes our day very well because this is the place we have been today with the best food. So, what other way to end such a perfect food crawl than with a tiramisu? Since we didn't get the Vitello Tornado, we decided to go for another dessert. This is a peach flavored cheesecake. Oh, I love tiramisu. If air had a flavor, I think it would be tiramisu. That doesn't sound very really nice. No, okay. Nice. So if you gave air a flavor, it would be tiramisu. If you gave air a good flavor, it would be tiramisu. <laughs> it's getting late I think now. you had a little too much to be on. It's getting to the point where Amelia is having alcohol. I'm drinking coffee just to stay awake. There's almost nothing in here, but it kicks like a racehorse. <laughs> you can taste the horse. <laughs> so it starts liquid and then it gets firm in the bottom. That's, That's what, what she, she said. says. I like it, but I don't love it. But um, 10 courses of deliciousness. I think it's fair to say that there is a reason why Italian cuisine is exquisite. So with that little signature of tiramisu and cheesecake, I think we should say bye for now. If you like our little food crawl, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell button, and Ding. we see you again on your favorite channel. Bye.